Hi everyone, how are you doing? Um, I want to. Uh, um, some of my friends have messaged me about my friend who is whose name is Oliver Fabian, and uh, I want to introduce him today to you because I always wanted to do this since I met him in Germany in his house. So I want to make a small introduction of him, and I would love for you to connect with him and talk with him and have a conversation with him. So I met um, this amazing guy, his name is Oliver Fabian, through another friend of mine, his, whose name is Arnon Katz, who is from Israel. And uh, um, Oliver told me his story that he was hitchhiking in Switzerland, and he, that's where he met um, Arnon, and Arnon gave him a lift, and then they uh, separated, and then they got together again in... Um, in a pub and they chatted a, a long time and they enjoyed each other. So somehow on Facebook, I got introduced to Oliver. And um, so Oliver tags me all the time on uh, stuff which is uh, non-related, it is related to religion. And uh, he turns out to be a very strong atheist person. I do. I only know like two or three atheist persons who are really who believe that atheism is the key and uh, um, they he really doesn't like any relation and there's a long history of why the way he is he is the way he is so I don't want to get into that but I want to uh, tell you my experience so he invited me to his home in Germany and um, I paid a visit uh, he has two amazing dogs. I love those dogs. It's just amazing and Oliver loves them. Oliver told me his story about uh, his other dog who died in his in front of his eyes. And um, I felt really sorry for the dog and for Oliver that he missed uh, such a nice animal in his life. Uh, we took a stroll around his home. There's a nice park he has built for himself. And his dog are just lovely. It's just big, uh, but uh, so I'm not used to dogs. I'm I I was raised uh, being scared of dogs. I was never used to being around dogs. So and in our religion, uh, dogs are something which are mm, not clean. So, but his dog were were very clean and very nice, but just a little big, so I was a little scared because, as I said, I'm not used to it. But uh, he, uh, the, the the reason I'm mentioning the dogs is because Oliver believes that this his dogs have special sense and they really liked me, and because they liked me, so it was like an assurance for Oliver that. You know, I must be a good guy because, you know, I don't speak the language, they sense. And uh, um, the, his dogs, you know, smell like you know, clean and like human beings, like he says so. Uh, I had a wonderful time in his home. I was, uh, he only eats once a day and his um, girlfriend also eats only once a day. And they, she was very nice to us. Uh, to me and uh, cooked me a very nice uh, breakfast, uh, an omelet, which I love. And um, it was just just amazing to stay with him and it's just a beautiful place to be at. Now a lot of my Muslim friends don't like him and tell me to unfriend him uh, because he says stuff against religion. Now I am against, I have met Oliver personally and I have asked him to not to mock people but or, or say something bad but how is it any different than a muslim person mocking a hindu or a christian or a jew um, or an atheist so it's the same thing he is doing so i tell everyone who is mocking anybody's religion which is not allowed in islam to mock anybody or mock anybody's religion or say bad things about them um, not to do it. So I asked Oliver to do the same, that you can have your beliefs, but you don't have to go out and say it on their faces that I hate their religion, because once you use the word hate, they will hate you back. So, but, you know, he has his reasons. He was, uh, he has studied religion a lot. 
he has traveled the world, and he is uh, really a humanist, I would say. Yes, he is strong with his words. Yes, he yes he is strong in his belief. But I really think I love this man a lot as a brother. He's a very wonderful man, and um, the way he treated me, you know, he treated me like gold. And um, I'm really appreciative of him and his girlfriend to uh, be able to host me, take care of me, and um, giving me his time and knowledge. Um, um, for 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 the time he did so um i also mentioned him in my video yesterday that um but it was not in a bad way it was in a good way in my in my point of view because he gives um he he gives me and other people in my facebook a different perspective of life he uh, you know we grow up in pakistan uh, knowing nothing about anybody else. We are living in our own cocoons. We are living in our own boxes. We are not taught about other religions in our schools. We are not taught about, we are not allowed to talk about other religions in our social media, in our lives. Uh, we sort of secretly talk among friends, but we really don't make it a public conversation. We sort of have made it a taboo to learn about other religions, which I don't understand why. I don't understand why uh, God needs to be protected. You know, God is the ultimate power, right? He created us and somebody who created us, how can we protect him? How can we defend him? We we have nobody to, to defend him. We have nobody to protect him. Here I remember a tale I, I have read when I was young that uh, the grandfather of Prophet Muhammad, um, which is in Quran also, I believe, that um, there was an army of elephants which was coming to crush uh, Mecca at one point. And instead of protecting Mecca, uh, the Prophet's uh, grandfather actually left Mecca and God took care of his own house himself. There were little birds which came with stones and they uh, destroyed the elephants, um, as the tale goes in Quran, as the story goes in the Quran. So who are we to protect God? Who are we to protect the ultimate being? Who are we to fight wars on the name of God? Which God? It's the same God. Everybody's after the same God. And if it's the same God, then why are we fighting for him? Why are we killing each other for his sake? Uh, because he can protect himself. I personally um, don't think that uh, this is something, I think we are taught incorrectly that if somebody says a bad thing to you, you must go and fight them. I think it is, it is wrong for us to go and fight with people who are just speaking about our parents, our grandparents, they're just speaking. They're just speaking based on what they know. They're just speaking based on what they think is right. And to me, I, uh, it's an opening for us, an opportunity for us to go and have a conversation with them and ask them, why do you believe the way you believe, you know, and ask them questions. And the moment we ask, start asking questions, there is a small place where we can educate them and that education will allow uh, them to not think in the same way. So, uh, you know, I, I invite all of you to add my friend Oliver. Uh, as I said, he's an atheist. He does not like any religion. Uh, if you are a preacher of religion, I would strongly uh, request you to add him. Show that your religion is based on peace you don't have to get offended by his posts yeah. just like he's not getting offended by your posts and you can just have a conversation with him you don't have to fight with him to prove yourself to prove that you have a bigger ego than him or he doesn't have to fight with you to prove that he is right or wrong he's just a science man you can use science to prove him and to him that he is wrong and he is going to try to do the same. So it's a healthy debate, it's a healthy conversation to learn 
uh, it's an opportunity for us to educate him and be educated via him and others like him so uh, that was my small little um, introduction to Oliver Oliver I thank you very much for again hosting me and I thank you very much for being who you are I think you're one of the smartest people I know I think you're a very humble person I think um, um, you and your girlfriend are very very kind people and I really really am honored to have met you and I'm looking forward to meeting you again especially in Pakistan again so you can do your business and you can help us um, to grow the country if you can and um, I have deepest respect for you and your family and your animals and your dogs they are very very nice um, it's just you, you know I'm uh, if I have in any way disrespected you or uh, if my, any of my action has uh, showed otherwise I really want to apologize for that I hope you're doing wonderful my brother thank you so much God bless you